Daily Trader TV, episode 26. It's Tuesday, the 20th of February. And today's question is what types of people make good traders? And to, to answer that, first let's start with people who, who don't make good traders. And, and there's definitely a class of pe person that should stay away from trading. At the end of the day, Trading is speculation, it's gambling. What, what I'm trying to teach is positive expectancy. So a casino is obviously gambling, but the casino, the house, has positive expectancy. So if you know you have positive expectancy, then it's still gambling, it's still speculation, but you expect to win in the long run. So with that said, understand that there is gambling, is speculation, and that you can win if you understand what you're doing. Um, with all that said, there are some people that shouldn't be doing this. If you've had any kind of gambling addiction, um, where I grew up, it was quite usual, on, particularly on a Saturday, we'd all pile down to the bookies and bet on the horses, etc., uh, but e even as a very young man, you know, 18, 19, uh, I wasn't a big fan of the bookies. I, I knew that any money I put in there, I was going to lose in the long run. So it was more about being with my mates, uh, re trying to, 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 to read. It was trivial money. But there were one or two lads that would spend whatever money they had in the bookies and you you couldn't talk them out of it and later on in life it cost them everything i've seen it destroy the lives so when when people talk about gambling addictions there's i genuinely believe some people are wired for it um something just goes off in the head and uh, you see this in trading as well. So if you've got any kind of gambling addiction, uh, you want to be going here rather than thinking about opening an IG account or any other kind of spread betting or CFD platform. So that, that's, a, that's a, a class of person that definitely shouldn't be trading. So what types of people make good traders? Definitely not your kind, any kind of gambling addictions. Just stay well clear. Um, it's probably the best advice you're going to get off this channel. If, uh, if that's how your brain's wired. Uh, the other type of person that doesn't make a good trader. Uh, somebody that can't admit that they're wrong. Um, I, I've always perceived that one of my strengths, just generally in life, is that uh, I, I'm easily convinced. Um, I want to say easily convinced. I mean, I, I'm quite mercurial. I can, if you tell me something that makes sense and is based in reality, uh, I, I will change my opinion <coughs> at the drop of a hat. If you can prevent, present me with data or evidence to prove that what I think is wrong, uh, I, I'll, I'll change and adopt your your methods quite easily. And um, I think it's one of the things that allows me to be a good trader. Uh, I don't mind. I, I know I'm going to be wrong, but I don't mind being wrong. And it's data that tells me whether I'm right or wrong, not an opinion. And the vast, vast majority of people who take up investment or trading have very strong conviction and opinion. And uh, it can destroy their accounts, particularly in a, in a bear market. So what type of person makes a good trader? Logical, rational, good with data. Uh, strongly opinionated until the data changes their opinion. Uh, calm, rational, unemotional. And I often say, hear people say it's about the psychology. 
and it is to a, to a degree, but not entirely. Your system, your plan, should make you unemotional because you should understand what's going on. So it's a bit like a, a fighter pilot in a jet. The reason he doesn't get emotional is because he knows what he's doing. I'm sure if you stuck him in another scenario where he didn't, didn't understand what's going on, he wouldn't be quite so calm. So it is about being unemotional, but primarily that's because you understand what's going on at any given time. And you've got a plan to deal with all scenarios. So, you know, they're the kind of things, you remember Mr. Spock from Star Trek, it's that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but it's not, you've got to sit and meditate for hours. It's understanding what you're doing and allowing the data to inform your opinions and then executing on that data. So that's it for today. Not a lot going on in the markets. I'm uh, still waiting to find out direction. Put it there.